And in New York today, those critical meetings continue between Secretary of State Pompeo and that high-ranking North Korean official, the highest-ranking official to visit the U.S. in nearly two decades, trying to focus on reaching enough agreement to go ahead with a summit less than two weeks from now. The North Korean dictator's right-hand man, Kim Yong-chol, arriving in New York for talks with Secretary of State Mike Pompeo Wednesday, kicking off their meetings with dinner, as both sides try to resurrect the summit between President Trump and Kim Jong-un, originally planned for June 12th. Who is Kim Yong-chol? Seen at this DMZ meeting between North and South Korea last weekend, the general is North Korea's former spy chief, now vice chairman of the ruling Workers' Party spotted sitting behind first daughter Ivanka Trump at the Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. General Kim has been an enemy of the U.S. for decades, ordering the 2014 hack of Sony Pictures for the interview, a film ridiculing the ruling Kim dynasty. Kim and the CIA would love it if you could take him out. And torpedoing a South Korean warship in 2010, killing 46 sailors sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury Department, requiring special State Department permission even to enter the U.S. Known as North Korea's toughest negotiator in past nuclear talks, the U.S. blames the general for trading in banned conventional arms. Along with today's meetings in New York, a team of American experts is also meeting in North Korea to hammer out a joint summit declaration, the White House says aiming for a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. The conversation is going to be focused on denuclearization of the peninsula. Uh, that's what these ongoing conversations taking place now will be centered on, as well as uh, this summit that would take place in Singapore. But the CIA and outside experts say that goal is impossible anytime soon, with three U.S. officials telling NBC News a recent CIA assessment concludes Kim Jong-un would never abandon the nuclear program his country has been developing for seven decades. And even if the North does agree to give up all its nukes and its missiles, the top American expert on North Korea's nuclear program says full denuclearization would take 15 years and would be very hard to prove that North Korea is really not doing what it has always done before, cheating on every arms control deal. Hmm. A lot of work to do there, mm -hmm. Andrea. Thank you so much. Keep us posted. Yeah.